defense the whole second half, but winners went out with either a turned ankle or a cramp, and Davis one and one on the way at it, baby. Grant Davis drops it through. Oh, yeah. That's the way to do it. And he stretched no his stuff a little bit. 54-53. No Next one on the way. This one wouldn't go. The Berries can take the lead as Steins rebounds off to Tianson. 54-53 cast. Tianson picked up by Davis. Tianson with it, picks up his dribble outside, gives it off to Champion. He'll work with it on Hayes. Dribbles into the lane, cut off, goes to Tianson with 55 seconds oh, left. Fouling. Tianson outside, Davis hawking him, got loose in the lane, found Steins wide open, he put it in. 55-54, Logan by one, 45 seconds left in the game. Lopez across the timeline. Looking for a pick, gets it, picks up his dribble, goes out to Grant Davis. Davis all the way to the hole, and what do we got? A blocking foul underneath, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. And Mike Bauer wanted a timeout the whole trip, and nobody looked over to see him. He was pleading his case for one, but Grant Davis, he didn't see it, and neither did the other four players. Davis got a lane to the hoop, took it. Curl came over, committed the foul, and got it. It rolled over the front of the rim. And we're tied at 55 with 33 seconds left in the game. An unlikely hero if he bangs another one down. There we go. Ooh, this has been a goodie. Davis, next one on the way. Short, Montgomery rebound. Well, this one's coming down to the wire. Tied at 55. The Berries will spend the timeout. Boy, this is just ridiculous. We're going to just keep it here. 28 seconds to go in the game. Mike, where you got a little more control of the game. The Kings cannot foul out front. That's the worst thing they can do, and they cannot give a layup. Here we go. Champion inbounds it to Tiansen. you got to watch Champion. is their best shooter, but Tiansen's awful quick, and he's penetrated tonight. Cass will go into a zone, and the Berries will hold it outside, and then they'll probably go into their set. So they're going to get this final shot unless they mess something up. 15 seconds left. Champion way out near center court with 12, and here we go. Now they're going to call another timeout, and we'll stay here again. We don't want to miss any of this. Well... The late they, must, out. they must have a uh, play that they, a lot of coaches have, you know, one final play for a final. It's left, the Kings are going to come out play man-to-man, -man, and then Lopez, go the inbounds pass, ahead to Brian Hayes, can drive down, put it in with five seconds to go, four seconds left, and Cass has taken the lead, 57-55, the Berries have called timeout, they got to huddle up, it's not over. I don't know how much time they're going to leave, but Ed Lopez stole the inbounds pass. The Kings went man-to-man, -man, gave it to Brian Hayes, and he drove. But they're going to talk about how much time is on the clock. There was four or five when the timeout was called. It's insignificant, I think. They're well, not, they'll not back him up till four or five because I can't believe those well, two officials. Well, the officials thought. going over there to say the event. You can't hear from the noise. Hayes could sew it up right here. Free throw on the way. Got it. My wife told me this was going to happen today. They have only beat Logan Sport once. If he hits this one, that would ice it. They're up by three, 58-55. It's over, Mike. We get the ball out of bounds. And Brian Hayes has been the story right now. Free throw. Good. 59-55. Cast by four. They'll get the ball out of bounds. And oh, bro. Not any timeouts left. Inbounds to Hayes. It's all over. Cast is one. And they are going nuts. People are on the floor. The student body comes running on. Lewis Cass has knocked off the Logan Sportberries tonight, 59 to 55, and this place is going crazy. Fun to see it, isn't it? 